Hi people! Today we're going to review this keyboard, which is Modicon Volcano RGB Lamp Party. So, without further ado, let's roll out! So, what comes in the package? So, the first thing you'll see is this plastic EF puller. I don't actually like these because they tend to scratch the keycaps, but it's good that you at least get some keycap puller. Uh, I, of course, tend to use this one. This also comes with some keyboards. This came with an Pro 2 keyboard. And I quite like these more. Now, what about the keycaps? Because you probably, one of the first things you see is the keycaps. I can say that these are quite decent. I don't like the font, it's gamer font. I like more like sleek design, like, you know, minimalistic, like, more the design that you could use in office environment. So this is the keycap, and you see this is quite gaming font. There are some second legends. So one of the important factor is that these keycaps are ABS, and they are double shot. So it means that there is two plastic pieces, and the legends will probably won't fade away. Uh, of course, there are some second legends. I think the second legends are had printed so these legends can tend to wear out after time so yeah so these are the stock keycaps I add some like after aftermarket keycaps which are HyperX PBT double shot keycaps they're called pudding keycaps in some places so comparing these two keycaps I can say that this one has some texture it's like even the PBT keycap has texture, but this one has even more like texture. Like, of course, not like a sand, not like a sand, but it's like, you know, like there was a was a PlayStation, you know, and then PlayStation has also I think ABS plastic around it, so it's something like this. Like, it has that texture. I'm talking about PlayStation Two. Probably the next thing you want to hear is the switches. So this keyboard comes with with quite, quite popular switches which are Otemu. So Otemu, th this version is Otemu Blue. So they are quite clicky. Yeah, so I can show you the HyperX keycap. So you see that like a little comparison between th these two. Like you see, like they are like this. I like the font of this a bit more. That's why I changed some keycaps. And the inside, inside you can see that both of these are double shot. So, yeah, so talking about uh, the um, switches, so these are Otemo Blue, and you can see that it's clicky because it has like a, not a leaf, but like a little jacket which makes that clicky sound. Also, they're quite tactile. Yeah, I quite like those. So, of course, because we came to the switches, Let's start the sound test. So we feel the sound is quite like clicky, it's quite powerful. <laughs> now the stabilizers. Now the PPT caps from HyperX. So you feel it. It produces a different sound. The sound is more like maybe like this sound is like a more you know deeper sound. This one is like much even more clicky. I like both of these sounds. They're quite nice in, in their own ways. So yeah, this is the sound test and what can I say that the sound depends on people. Some people really like those typewriter keyboards. Some people don't like those, but I think that they are quite good. I like, I, I actually like Otemu sound of blue switches. I tried uh, some Cherry, some shops, uh, Cherry MX Blue specifically, 
And I think that maybe Otemu has a bit more like specific, a bit more powerful sound. So yeah, so these are Otemu blue switches. Yeah, so probably the next thing you want to hear is what is the lightning on this keyboard? So we don't wait, we just plug it. So once you plug in the keyboard, you are greeted with snake effect. And then you can see that the lightning on this keyboard are really bright, they are really shine. And uh, it's, it's one of the best LEDs probably on the Mechanical Keyboards I tried. Because I tried Corsair and it's like those LEDs are not that bright. This one is really good. And okay, so how to change the effects. So I investigated it because I used it for like years. So uh, you have to use the nav cluster. This cluster lets you to change the effects. This lets you to change the brightness of the effect. So this is the brightest effect. And these two, I think this one maybe lets you to change the speed of, it, of the effect. And this one lets you to change you the color of the effect. There are some preset colors. Also, you can like um, change the colors on both, on the keyboard and on the software. The software you can download in the Modicon Volcano or Jibila Party site. There's like a link, link. You can just type it on Google. And yeah, so we can start with the light effect. So the first effect is like like sinusoid effect of LGB. You can change the color of it with this button. I think you can change the speed of it. Probably change it. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, so you can change the color. We go to the rainbow effect again because it like it looks quite good. Like, not quite good, but you know, like, it's good for showcase. Then there is like a, like a, the effect where you can easily show passes to your friends, but that's at least the trace of it. So I would recommend to use this effect when you're typing a password with your friends. Oh, uh, there's like an interesting effect I found out with the M1 key, which is here. You just like choose the color you like, like maybe you like, I don't know, like, maybe you like white color. So you just click, you choose the color, then you click FM M1, and now you click again, it starts to flash, and then you like start to paint. So you just paint, you know, like paint the keys with the color you chose. So it's really nice. You can also choose the rainbow effect and I feel it will show some rainbow colors. So yeah, and then when you're already decided what color you want, you just click it again. Voila. You just painted your keyboard. <laughs> okay, so more effects. And this one is an interesting one. If you type fast, fast the more fast you type, the more it, it changes the color. So you see, you can show your typing skills with the colors. It's red! It's the end so fast! Ah. So that's all the effects of this keyboard. So now about the build quality, uh, I can say that the build quality is quite good. Uh, this keyboard has some heft to it, but it's not like it doesn't have a lot of weight. It's like quite, quite uh, light keyboard, but it doesn't flex. It's like really sturdy. So that's because of the aluminum top plate. I like the aluminum top plate, and at the same time, I don't really like it. I like it because it gives that sturdiness, gives that heft to it. But I also like it because it attracts some dust. So, you know, like, it's not that harsh as, it's not that like, it doesn't add that much dust as Corsair K70 Rapid Fire. There's an aluminum brush on the K70, and on here is, I think, maybe anti aluminum. But it's like a different 
fabrication of the aluminium and this one tends to don't get that much dust as K70. K70 really attracts dust, even, even more than this. So there are some plus or minus of using aluminium top plate. Uh, the whole body is made of, the, the back of the body is made of plastic, so this one is like a matte made plastic. Also there are some glossy plastic traces, but they are like not too much, so it's like okay. I don't really like it because it attacks fingerprints, but it's like on some, a it has only like accents of it, so it's like whatever. Um, of course we have rubber tips on the standard mode, on the flip out feet mode we have two flip out feet and also we have cable raceway so you can cable manage your cable as you want. Also the cable is not detachable but it's braided and it's quite flexible. I will show you how quite flexible it is. Yeah, it's quite flexible. So the overall build quality is like okay. For the budget keyboard it's okay. And overall, what can I say about this keyboard? That it's like a good keyboard for the people who want to get into mechanical keyboards, who wants to try it because the price is quite good. It's like a, I think 50 euros or 55 euros or 60 euros, somewhere in there. The price fluctuates, you know, like it changes uh, according to market, but, but it's like around that price point. So the main cons, I could say that the main con is maybe that branding. You see, there's another branding here. Also, the cable could be detachable, you know. Also, uh, the macro could be more comfortable to use on the fly, you know, on the keyboard uh, that you wouldn't need to use the software because now, like, software is really important because the macro capabilities on the keyboard, like, on the fly, is, like, not really fun. <sighs> and, yeah, also what I don't like is, again, I said aluminium. Uh, like, I like it and don't like it at the same time. And... Basically, that's all the cons. I think. Oh, the most important con is like the satellites. As you tr as I showed in the typing test, you felt that the satellites are like they are quite mediocre. So the satellites are quite mediocre. Maybe you should apply some lube to it or something, because like yeah, it's like like you feel, it. especially the space bar. So yeah, like K70 has a bit better satellites. And I have also Anna Pro 2, and those satellites are wonderful. So I feel the difference. I really feel the difference. It's like, compare Anna Pro to this, like, these are really mediocre. Really. Because Anna Pro is like really good. So, and the pros, the pros is, of course, lightning. The arc is really bright. It has a lot of effects. Uh, the keyboard is like, form factor is really sleek. And I like the design. The design is like quite good. I don't like the font. The font is like gamery one, which can, of course, change the keycaps because. It has the standard I, I not I so ANSI layout, so you can easily change the keycaps as I already done. Like change all the keycaps with HyperX ones, like yeah. So, but of course the stock keycaps durability is quite okay. I think, I think like I used this keyboard for a year and it's like it still looks good. It still looks good. So overall, I recommend this keyboard. Like if you are like you want to try the mechanical keyboards, how they feel. You want something like quite light, you want maybe something like more gamery, you want something like with good, good LEDs to showcase it on your setup, so this good choice is good for you. So that's all for this video. Like if you like this video, if you didn't like it, comment why you didn't like it. Also comment what kind of keyboards you use, what kind of switches you have, what switches are your favorite ones. And yeah, and subscribe for more content like this. See ya people next time.